Pop squat. Come on, uh, We have something a little bit different. This was sent in by Rainiers, who also sent in a track that we listened to yesterday. What did we listen to yesterday that Rainier sent in? Need to look at content. Um, was it Next Hype? Or was it Flixer from Osama Sun? I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, I think it was Osama Sun. And I sent this in. Looks very interesting. It looks like it's Japanese. And uh, I know nothing about this. Came out in 2023 on an album called Onyx. Uh, Lil Nina, it looks like, is the name of the performer. Pop, Japan, Japanese, okay. Japanese pop music. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the first track on the album Onyx, or the EP Onyx, featuring I-9 Bonsai, produced by Schoolio. Yeah, Lil Nina, uh, L-I-L-N-I-I-N-A. Huh. Lil Nina is a rapper and track maker from Nagoya, Japan. Apologies if I pronounce that incorrectly. She makes songs with dull atmospheres that continues from beginning to end, featuring psychedelic and ephemeral parts, the feeling of comfort and laziness. This sounds fascinating. Lil Nina's strength is that her songs are a cute addiction that you can hear lazily. Love the English there. Um, this sounds really interesting. I-9 Bonsai. Let's find out about this person. Uh, born January 27th, is a hyper-pop digicore artist from Tokyo, Japan. Oh, this could be an interesting combination. Considered by many a founding father of the sound, their high-pitched vocals and airy mixing add to their hyper-pop digicore aesthetic. They were primarily inspired by Nightcore when they first started making music, so they started making music that fits that style. There's uh, their song "Funny Monkey," a funny monkey gif, real uh, released in December of 2019, gave them mainstream attention from the meme community, as this song is still their most popular and most played song as of now. Uh, all right, let's check this out. This is this is interesting. This is very interesting. So we're gonna have some Japanese. There you go. Three minutes and four seconds. Uh, thanks again to Rainiers for sending this in. This is definitely something I'm looking forward to. Uh, sounds crazy. Sounds interesting. Angel Plus from Lil Nina featuring I-9 Bonsai produced by Schoolio. Let's do it as soon as I tell you to please like, subscribe, and share. Cash App, PayPal, Patreon's over here if you want to send me something to listen to. Also, if you would like a cool 50,000 sub Papa Squat sticker, there's information down in the description. Four dollars a piece. I will get them sent out to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, let's go. Let's do this. Like the sound. It's interesting how the vocals, like the two languages, really blend into each other. Like I almost forget that I'm going to hear English, and then I'm like, oh, that was a line in English. Um, the vocals themselves are, are very subdued, very... Um, it's, it's not like they're whispered to you, but it's like somebody talking very close to you, and they don't need to put any force behind their voice they're just uh, na, 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 na. it's very very soft it's kind of nice <laughs>
okay so wait a minute was that all yeah that was little nina all of that as well so i just wanted to make sure is uh are we gonna get a verse from oh yeah i know bonsai is uh at the end there let's keep going trying to decide if I like that transition. I think it works. I think it's okay. I, I think they, I don't think they necessarily needed to. I feel like they wanted to make there be a more significant difference between Lil Nina's um, vocals and now I-9 Bonsai's. And I kind of, I kind of like what they did. doesn't matter if I like it right this is what they did um huh. yeah no I do like it I do like that changeover it just it sounded very interesting it's just like one note. It just turns on a dime, and it's kind of cool. Honestly, I kind of think these vocals from I-9 Bonsai remind me a bit of, like, Blade. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that. I like that. Yes, okay. Huh. Also, it came out eight months ago. That's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, this was cool. This was a little bit different. What is this labeled as? Oh, it's just pop. That's right, pop in Japanese. I'm very curious about I-9 Bonsai. I, I would check out more from them for sure and the little nina i thought she was kind of cool it definitely has its own feel almost its own genre very very um comforting hazy pillow like lets you just listen to it i could li see listening to any of this uh in this style just to have on in the background like if, if i'm writing or working on something it would just sound good and fill the space really well and sometimes you just need noise right to to feel centered to feel and this is not over the top it's very comforting even if you can't understand the words or all of the words i, I like this I like this. Uh, one album I bring up a lot uh, is um, Annie Lennox's Diva album, 
and it's an album that uh, I used to listen to a lot when I was like sad for whatever reason because it was just one of those albums that made me feel okay about being sad like okay I'm sad but that's okay like this is just sometimes you're sad I could see these like songs like this from from Lil Nina filling that same role of just like and not even necessarily for sadness for like anything you could just listen to this and be like okay I feel pretty good about things like I'm I'm sad but that's okay that's just how I am right now it's okay to feel sad it's okay to be bored it's okay to you know I have whatever cool stuff this is cool Rainiers, thank you for sending this in um and i always love to hear really almost any music from other parts of the world especially stuff that's influenced by rap and hip-hop pop um now hyper pop digicore all that sort of stuff love it and it's fun to find out about i9 bonsai who apparently did a lot of that music or you know originated quite a bit of it good stuff good stuff Oh, I'm tired. Um, have yourself a good, good day. I'll be back with more stuff tomorrow. Papa Squat. Check it out. Please like, subscribe, share. Cash App, app. Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Yeah, that's what I say. Down in the description. <sighs> Still no job. It's got to be well over a thousand job applications that I've submitted now. And, uh, my current job, which is literally pushing carts around, uh, parking lots, um, at a, at a big box store, as they say, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this, it pays, I have expenses, right? I have phone, I have cable, I have heat and electricity i have all that sort of stuff uh, gasoline for my car car insurance all all that stuff uh i have uh, an 11 year old stepdaughter i have a wife i have a seven month old baby um so plenty of things to spend money on to do things you know buy food maybe go see a movie every now and then which we're going to do this weekend because it's uh, my stepdaughter's graduation from grade school. So she wanted to see a movie with a friend, so we're going to do that. All that money, not, it, nothing for me or my wife, obviously. We're not, like, I'm not buying magic cards currently, and my wife's not, whatever, getting clothes or anything like that. But everything we spend, that all isn't covered by my job. My job pays for two thirds of my monthly rent, two thirds, not all of my rent. Two thirds. It's exciting. It's exciting time to be alive. I just want a job where I can write or I can do project management or I like social media. Can't, can't find it. Editing. Can't find any job in any of those places that I've, I've done this job for 20, 30 years. Can't find a job. Absolutely maddening maddening two thirds of my rent that's what the money I make covers and it's exhausting pushing hundreds of pounds of carts around a parking lot one of the women I work with is 18, 19 I think she's 19 and she just graduated high school. I think that's what she said. And um, she was saying today she gets nothing else done. She comes to work, not full time. Just like me, I'm not scheduled for full time. 
not full time and then she goes home and she just sleeps because she's exhausted she's so tired from working because we push carts for six hours a day she's like i'm getting nothing done this is supposed to be like a fun summer for me and like my friends aren't inviting me anywhere because i'm either working or sleeping and don't have the ability to go out so she's like i'm gonna start asking for less hours because i just can't like i'm not i, I this isn't the summer that i wanted to have <laughs> i, I and I'm supposed to find time to still, to not only work and then rest and actually recover because I'm 54 freaking years old, pushing carts around a parking lot is a surprising amount of work. It's exhausting. And um, I still have to apply for work. I still have to try and find a job that actually pays me what I need to be making. I don't understand why everything is so fucking hard. I don't I don't understand how I got to this point in my life that, that I I'm not established that I I don't have resources. I I don't understand it. I can only assume that I did this to myself. I am a complete fucking failure. And I know people will leave comments. You'll make it through this. You'll make it through this. I know I'll make it through it. I just don't know what kind of shape I'll be in. I don't know what kind of job I'll find. I, I, I don't have any idea. And I don't know when it's going to happen. Or if. Don't know if it's going to happen. God, and I just think about, like, I obviously I think about it myself a lot. And I think about other people who are younger than me. And I really hope none of you ever have to be in this situation. Because it's completely demoralizing. And makes me feel like an utter failure of a human being. Because I can't provide for my family. I mean, I have to. I have to provide for them. So everything that we have to spend other than what I make from this job, which again covers two-thirds of my rent, is coming out of my retirement. So I will work until I die. No doubt. I have absolutely no doubt at this point the way it's going to go. It's hard to keep going. Uh, anyway, have yourself a good day. And uh, I'll be here tomorrow after I work my six-hour shift. And um, there you go. Pop squat. Check it out. Bye-bye.